Welcome back, Towners. Today we're going to make some keto soul rolls. Let's get it. All right, so we're going to start off by making an easy fathead dough. Just going to use two ounces of cream cheese, two cups of mozzarella cheese, and put that in the microwave for about 45 seconds to a minute. And then we'll add three fourths cup of almond flour and an egg and get that all mixed up. Now, I want to talk about this soul roll because the inspiration came from a local restaurant out here called Mr. Diddy's and they make a soul roll that has all the traditional southern food um soul food <laughs> that you'll find um so it's filled with collard greens and macaroni and cheese and candied yams and oh i was tempted when i went in there but i was like no i'm gonna stay true see what i can do you know see if i can ketofy this so um, after Memorial Day was the perfect opportunity for me to try this because we had leftovers from cauliflower mac and cheese and I had a can of turnip greens in the pantry and we also had some um, shredded barbecue meat. But anyway, as you can see here, I used two pieces of wax paper. I sprayed them with nonstick cooking spray. It would have been better if I used parchment paper but we got to use what we have um so i rolled it out as thin as i could it's about the um thickness of thin crust pizza and i just started cutting some squares in there um to get the shape for the sole roll now here's the good part here comes the fixings so as you can see here i'm adding in the cauliflower mac and cheese and then next I'm going to add the turnip greens and then on top of that I'm adding the shredded pork. I believe it's pork. I don't think it's beef. It might be beef. I could be wrong. I'm going to just say shredded meat. But um, yeah, so I put all of that in there and this was a little bit tricky because I didn't know if I overstuffed it or how this roll was going to turn out. But um, the roll was good, y'all. I did a good job rolling it up, stuffing all that in there, and um, sealing the ends of it. And um, the next part you'll see here is me just making a second one to see if I could get a little bit more fixings inside of it. But I imagine you can put anything in these rolls. You got some leftover spaghetti? Girl, throw it in there. So we just gonna we're gonna make another video stuffing whatever we can in this fat head dough. But yeah, I rolled it up there. And voila. You gotta roll. Alright, so I put it in the stove. Please ignore my man hands. It's been a rough year. But I put it on the stove there in some almond oil that's already been heated on medium high heat. And um, the video is sped up, but you really only have to cook these for about two to three minutes on each side. It browns up and gets crispy pretty quickly. Um, so it doesn't take that long. And you can see, you know, the color on those look great. And then Shantae had to come through with his mustard size roll. I don't even know if you could call that a roll. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I was confused. Um, I think it's a patty. I don't know. But yeah, he came through with the with the mustard size roll. And um, it has a nice color on it too. And we just threw some more in there to, um, you know, make it a little family of soul rolls. As you can see, the color comes quick and you only cook them for a couple of minutes to get them nice brown and crispy. Yeah, so here's the finished product. I paired it with a dipping sauce. Um, it's G. Hughes sugar-free Polynesian sauce. 
It adds a little bit of a sweet kick to the soul roll. Um, but it was quite nice, you guys. And inside, it was very cheesy from the cauliflower mac and cheese. And um, the greens and the meat just took it over the top. <laughs> yeah, but here it is. Hey, Towners. Uh, my wife did a great job making that video. Um, I just want to step in real quick, answer a few questions that uh, <laughs> she had during the, or that you may have had from watching the video. Um, yeah, spaghetti. We, we're not doing that. We're not stuffing. <laughs> we're not going to stuff these with no spaghetti. But um, I do definitely see, you know, the ability to stuff these up with any other random assortment of, of things. Uh, the meat that we had on that, that was some pulled pork. But um, we did make some additional ones off camera using some uh, grilled chicken. And those worked well as as well, um, you know, like the traditional soul rolls, they're made with uh, I mean, you pretty much get the combination of the macaroni and cheese and um, candy yams. But, you know, can't have that on keto. And, but, you know, when you have your Thanksgiving plate, if you don't mind your food touching when that macaroni and cheese mixes in with the yams and basically I call it yam juice, the, the, the sugar and brown sugar and cinnamon, all that butter mixture from the macaroni and cheese mixed together, the, that tastes great. But that portion of it, you did kind of mix miss out uh, from having that sweetness in it, but um, mixing it with what other random assortment of ingredients that you want to mix together, they definitely do come out great. Um, I could also see this done with like taco fixings also. Um, I think that'd be great. But um, yeah, the, the, these do fry up very quickly, um, about a minute on each side, depending on how high, how high you have your heat, these fry up very quickly. Everything that's put inside of these are already cooked. So it um, they, they cook up fast and they're ready to go quickly. Uh, but these things came out very, very good. Um, I would definitely be doing this again. I just wanted to come through real quick and answer those questions for you guys real quick. Um, but if anyone has any comments or questions, as always, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Enjoy. And that's it. Enjoy. And please subscribe. Enjoy. Hey, Towners. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. All ingredients and directions are listed in the description box below each video. And as always, thank you guys for watching.